What's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Uh, just working hard. Yeah, that's uh, my dad was my college coach, and um, yeah, that's one thing he always uh, said to me: is just working hard and it'll pay off. Now, do you approach pitchers as individuals? Or do you have one style for everybody? Um, you know, well, in the lower levels, we don't have that much film on pitchers at all. You know, barely, never. But um, you know, as we move up in levels, we have a lot of film on guys, and we have a lot of different stuff on each pitcher, and uh, you know, that's what I have to take advantage of. Now, sometimes they talk about these first-round draft picks. They have all this talent in the world, and some of them get passed up by guys drafting the 50th round later on. Yeah. Why is that? Um, I guess you know, scouts see stuff that they like, and they just go, you know, off, off of that. How about in spring training? The the Mets organization, every organization brings more guys in. They trade for guys, bring in free agents to compete with you at the major league level. How do you approach that? You know, I don't really think about anything else when I'm out there. You know, I just you know continue to, to work hard and um, just worry about myself, trying to put myself in the best situation in order for me to go out there and succeed. Now, baseball is an up and down game. Uh, injuries and up and down the organization, stuff like that. Yeah. How do you handle that? How do I handle injuries? Yeah, and well, has there been a time so far that you wanted to quit baseball because of all this stuff? Uh, I never wanted to do that. You know, it's, I've had a lot of injuries. I've been in pro ball for six years now, and every year I've had some kind of injury that's come up. And um, it's just perseverance coming through. You know, this is what I want to do with my life. And um, if I continue to work hard, you know, I just put all these injuries behind me and just move on. What we'll gets you through that? Especially when you have injuries every year, what gets you through that? Just being motivated, you know. I mean, that's one thing. When I was little, all I wanted to do was play professional baseball and make it to the uh, to the major leagues. And whenever I'm on the disabled list, instead of just sitting around pouting, you know, I take it as motivation. You know, I'm on the, in the dugout watching the pitchers, see what they're doing, and uh, just going from there. What's something about pro baseball you learned the hard way that nobody told you about? <clears throat> Probably being a, just a better hitter, you know, in high school and college, you know, you just grab a bat and you go up there and swing. You know, we're watching the College World Series right now, a bunch of guys in there are talking and saying we just didn't really know how to hit then. You know, you just grab the bat and get in the box and you swing. But in professional baseball, you learn how to be a better hitter, you know, that's what, making adjustments day to day, pitch by pitch, and that's how you, you, know, you get better. And, you know, you fail a lot in baseball, you know, and, uh, you know, it makes you a better, better player in the end. Now, once you sign a contract, obviously you're a Major League Baseball player. Uh -huh. Was there a time before that when you just had this feeling that you were going to play professional baseball? Before? Before you signed a contract, before it was official, did yeah. you get a feeling at some point that you knew you were going to do that? Yeah, I mean, just because in college, you know, we had a lot of scouts that came to games, and whenever they were there, I always did really well. And, uh, you know, it's a small Division three school, and there's not a lot of guys that get drafted out of Division three schools. But, um, you know, I worked hard, and yeah, anybody you can, anybody on the team you can ask the same one of the hardest workers. So, you know, that's what I, I like to do best. Did you read the sports pages or where uh, Baseball America ranks you or anything like that? Um, no, I don't, I don't really look at Baseball America or any of that because, uh, you know, a lot of people have their own opinion on different stuff. You know, I just kind of stay away from that and just work hard and go from there. Anybody tell you about it? Your mom and dad call you up and say, hey, you're in. How do you handle the fans? People yell and scream at you all the time. The fans? I just, I just put it all behind them. You know, when when you're during during the game, you're so locked into what's going on. You know, the, I mean, up in the major leagues, you know, thirty thousand people, forty thousand people yelling at you, and you know, you're, just, you're so locked into the baseball game that after the game's over, you don't even realize what happened. You know. How about the umpires? How do you handle the umpires? Um. <coughs> My first couple of years in pro ball, you know, I kind of get pretty agitated with some of the calls, you know. But uh, as I got older, you know, I just decided to go pitch by pitch. And if somebody makes a bad call, I'll just step out of the box, take a deep breath, put it all behind me, get back in the box, and go from there. What would you tell a kid in, in high school about professional baseball if he asked you? That if you want it, you got to work for it. You know, I mean, there's a lot of kids out there that. You know, have the same dream that I did, you know, but it's all about how bad you want it. All right, man.